Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well and enjoying your day. If you are new here, I'm Christopher and welcome, welcome, welcome. If you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare, product reviews, planning and organization, stop and look no further my friend because this place is for you. So go ahead and click that little red subscribe button and join the community. And if you're going to hang out here on YouTube, you might as well hop on over to my Instagram. I post over there daily. We have a really great back and forth conversation and I would love to catch up with you there as well. So I'll leave my handle for my Instagram right here on the screen. Today I am bringing you a video that I'm super excited about and it is my summer essentials list. These are the things that I need to make my summer a little brighter. And these are the things that I think a lot of you should have on your list because they just make life a little bit easier. And some are just really, really great products that I have found over the last two summers, I would say, is when I really started to think about like, what are my summer essentials? So today I am sharing that list with you. The first thing that I think needs to go on a summer essentials list is a really great woven tote bag. Now, there are several options and several different price points. There's actually one from Madewell that I am obsessed with. It is on my list. It's $80 though. I'm going to try to link a picture of it right here. I just love it. But I found another alternative woven bag at Macy's. It regularly retails for $49.98. And last week or two weeks ago, I got it on sale for $11.98. And it is from the brand Style and & Company. And this is what it looks like. And it says, Raise for Days. Now, the reason why I think you should have a woven tote is because when you take this to the beach, you can just shake all the sand out of it. It just makes it really nice to have. This one is really, really large, really deep has like one little zipper pocket on the inside, and other than that, it's really simple. I just think a good woven tote translates from a day at the beach to just a day walking around and shopping. I think it works really well, and it adds great texture to an outfit, and is just a summer essential, but this one is super cute. The next thing I wanna to talk to you about is sun protection. Now, I am someone who needs sunscreen all year around because I am just very fair, and I get burnt very, very easily. And there are four specific sun care products that I use and love. The first one is a sports sunscreen that I love. You can pick this up at Target. It is by the brand called Bear Republic. What I love about their sports sunscreen is it is waterproof. It gives you everything you need in a sunblock. However, it doesn't leave you feeling greasy or sticky in any way. It feels really light and I just really, really enjoy it. So many of those like aerosol sunscreens leave your skin feeling so sticky and like you have a film or a layer on it you don't get this with it it's super light it soaks into the skin protects you i love it bear republic great great sunscreen another daily sunscreen that i absolutely love is pricey for the amount that you get and this is the largest container i believe that they sell and that is the UV Essentials Daily Defense Sunscreen. It's an SPF of 30. It's by Chanel. What I love about it is it, once again, goes on so light, soaks into the skin. It also feels like it moisturizes your skin. Your skin doesn't feel dried out by it. It is my go-to daily sunscreen that I wear all the time. Now, however, I think I paid almost $50 for this little bottle, and I've had to buy it several times because I use it daily on my face but I do live by it because it is so light. You can apply other things on top of it. It is really, really wonderful. I just, I recommend it. It's really great. Another sunscreen that I found that is very different, and I think I found it around last August, so about a year ago, is a mineral sunscreen by Color Science. This is broad spectrum SPF 40, but it is in a loose mineral powder. So you have a brush, you just brush it on your face, and you are protected for the day. This is a really great way to get a very light, matte feeling from your sunscreen, but still get all the protection. What I really like this one for is specifically around my ears because so many of those liquid sunscreens will like clump up in your ear and it's really hard and my ears do get burnt. So I find that using like this mineral powder really gets into the crevices and really protects my ears. I just really, really enjoy this 
formula of a sunscreen. I think it is particularly nice for people who want like a very matte finish and don't want a greasy filling, especially when you're doing a daily sunscreen. So a mineral-based powder sunscreen is a great option for that. After a day of being out in the sun, whether you have sunscreen or not, your skin is left feeling really, really dry and almost like it's been zapped of any nourishment that it has had. I have found a product. I use it so much. It literally got me through three trips to Arizona last summer. It is by the brand Coors and it is called After Sun Greek Yogurt Cooling Gel for your face and body. This brings back so much moisture, is super soothing and cooling. Even if you're not burnt, this is just a great way for your skin to feel like fresh and revived again after being in the sun all day. If there was one sun care product that I was going to recommend the most, it would be this. It will leave your skin feeling so great, so moisturized. It is really wonderful to spend a day laying out and then to put this on after your shower, your skin just feels cool and moisturized and it's just great. I highly, highly recommend it. The next product I'm going to talk about is a self tanner. Because you're doing so much sun protection, you still want your skin to get some sort of glow, some sort of tan and coloring to make you look like you've enjoyed your summer. My favorite by far is the Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse. I find that I get the most even application and it's the most natural looking self tanner that I have ever used. And trust me, I have had the struggle and the orange lines and the streaks. I really believe the key and great application is investing in their application mitt. This one is for the body and you should also buy the ones that are for your face. This allows you to really get into the crevices of your face and get a very even application. These mitts have honestly been the game changer in my self tanner application game. Before we get into the fun accessories that I have left, I want to talk to you about a summer fragrance. And the one that is my go-to for this summer is by the company Clean Reserve and it is called Citron Fig. It is a beautiful mix of grapefruit and citrus and fig. It is really light. It smells like summer in a bottle. This will be my go-to summer fragrance. Now some summer accessories that I think are must-have. The first is a swell bottle. This is a newer one that I got. It is from the Marrakesh line. It is 25 ounces. These are great, great water bottles because you can throw them in your bag. They do not sweat or create any condensation on them, so nothing else will get wet. They stay very sealed. Nothing leaks out. But what's really great is it will keep cold drinks cold for 24 hours. I absolutely love the Swell bottles. If you watch my channel, you know I have so many of them. I just adore them. I think they are one of the greatest water bottles and I've not used anything else in like the last two years because I just love them. They also come in a 17 ounce size if 25 ounces is too large. Another thing that I think you should have when going to the beach is a waterproof case for your phone. This is one of my favorite brands. It's by Empow. All you do is you pop this open like this, this comes apart, you slide your phone down into the case, snap it, and you have a waterproof phone that you can still completely operate. Even play your music through it. And it is not just about the waterproofing. If you're at the beach and if you don't want to get sand into any of the external jacks of your phone, so this is just a really great way to keep it protected but also still be able to use your phone and just not have to worry. Plus you have sunscreen on your hands and stuff like that. I just really recommend purchasing one of these. They're less than $10 and it protects your phone. The other thing that I think you should have in your summer essentials is an Amazon paper white. What is great about this is you can carry multiple books, but no matter how bright the light is, you can still read it like a normal book page. So I just find that it's a lot lighter than a typical book. It's very small and you get no glare. I love, love, love the Amazon paper white. It's a great, great e-reader. It is probably my favorite. Not probably, it is. Now, for sunglasses, I think there are two ways to go that you should have on your summer essentials list. You should have something very traditional that you can wear to work, or not traditional, but more like relaxed and formal. And then I think you should just have some fun and get some funky pairs. And I have two funky pairs in two different price points for you. But my go-to like traditional, like I'm going to work sunglass 
would be this pair of Prada sunglasses. I have worn them a lot. I wore them on our trip to Amsterdam. I really like them. They are round but still have some angles to them. They're super comfortable. I just really, really like this pair of sunglasses. These are my more formal, dressier sunglasses, if you will. Now, for my funky, fun sunglasses that I don't care what you think about them. I love them and I have fun wearing them. The first pair are Gucci's. And I had been on the hunt for a really good round pair of sunglasses. And when I found these Gucci's at the airport in the Netherlands, I fell in love with them. I love how round they are. I love that they're a little funky, a little different, and just a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I go to these a lot. Uh, these are my car driving sunglasses, but like I said, these are not something I'd want to walk into like a work meeting having on. Not that I'm walking into work meetings with sunglasses on because you're already indoors, but like, you know what I mean? Like going into work, I don't want to have like something crazy on. Now, the next pair I'm going to talk about are at a very cheap price point. I believe they were way under $20 or just like right at 20. I found them on Amazon. I just think they are so fun and angular and not something I would always normally wear, but they're just fun. And I believe that summer is the time for fun. So these little funky angular squared off uh, sunglasses, I really, really like. Now, the last piece of my summer essentials list is footwear, and I believe there is one shoe during the summer that you can dress up or dress down that is super comfortable and you can wear all day, and that is just a plain pair of white slip-on Keds. I wear these with dress pants, I wear these with jeans, I wear these with shorts, I wear these with my swimsuit. Um, these are just a really great pair of shoes. They're super comfortable, super light, easy to pack. I think everyone should just have a plain white pair of slip-ons for the summer. They work no matter where you are going or what you are doing. And lastly, I believe every summer you should buy yourself a funky, fun pair of sandals that you don't see everyone wearing. And for me this year were these Birkenstocks. These are the Arizona Birkenstock, but what they are is black on black, black suede, and black faux fur. I absolutely love these. I get mixed reviews on them, but I just find that they are fun, they are funky, and that is what summer is about. It is about being fun and taking some risks. So these are my go-to sandal for this summer, and I am loving them. They are also the most comfortable, comfortable sandal I have ever worn, ever. So my friends, those are my summer essentials. These are the things I think you should have in your beach bag when you're going out for the day. Also, they're just things that I love to have on hand for a terrific summer. So if you have any questions, I've left everything linked down below, but feel free to ask in the comment section below. But I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.